Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Sab Sentinel. Saboteur. Cyphreak. Commando. Deadeye. Mercenary. Deadeye. Deadeye chosen. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice, a reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you, your inner voice to be precise, an echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger.
make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. That's a flesh wound. Grab on tight and go. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Well, what do you know?
middle lifed. Feeling so much better. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. 
Wiped out. Scrapalicious. Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing it's coming from behind that door a warning label the box looks like a potential brain melt it's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out.
Boom. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. Records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxanol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re-evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, 
but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. Must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. 
Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. That's right! Smack that spark out before it starts! You don't have to be so harsh! It's such a little spark. I'll take it out now while it's small. Hm. There's always another spark. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there's two nearby. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared regardless of who you choose it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever teetering on the brink of war the myriad's conviction to stop the world eaters began when the leviathans rose from the depths of the surf Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He believes you share Jagni's view on the world. Regardless, Jagni would welcome someone that had helped them against the Myriad tribe. He'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded.
embiggening your brain. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. That's the Myriad tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. <laughs> Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. <laughs> the Sifu is mindful of his time, but thinks you'll just have to find out for yourself if he's willing to spend some of it on you. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. Says there has to be some dark so that light can prove its purity above it, and promises this will happen if you help them unite the tribes, defeat the world eaters, and save the tree of life. 
He could only hope for you to do that, and is thankful you know what's right. That's a sign of strength. That Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Jagni tribe may believe that fear and hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Even though you don't share their values, they hope you lead with mercy. The outcome of this war is up to you. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Surprised you don't know Gizmo? Head down to the Chug Yard to find him. Says you'll see each other later. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it right now. Needs a logical reason to reveal the secret. Says it's hard to keep a secret from someone as smart as you. Might as well tell you where the place is as you'll figure it out eventually. Eguahish Enkum Menahanu. 
Glad to find someone who sees the world for the disaster it already is. Says goodbye to you. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it. Hopes that thing is pro- Says you- There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for rest and recovery, when day can become night and the other way around. There's a serenity of
Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. 
ਕਰਦਾ ਬਰਾਦਰਾ ਦੇ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਯੂਜੂਅਲੀ ਹੈਪਨ ਟੂ ਥੋਸ ਹੂ ਨੈਵਰ ਸਟਾਪ ਟਰਾਈਂਗ ਹੀ ਹੋਪਸ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥਮ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਨੀਡ ਮੋਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਰਫ ਥੈਟਸ ਦ ਓਨਲੀ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਲੈਵਰ ਲਰਨ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਸਵਿਮ ਓਨਲੀ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਨੈਵਰ ਟਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਹਾਰਡ ਜੂਜਿੰਗ ਬਾਈ ਯੋਰ ਮੂਮਰਸ ਲੁਕ ਇਟ ਸੀਮਸ ਯੂ ਫਰਗੋਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ amu you promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down it's time to go come on you know you can't make up for lost time ala you should know practice makes perfect aria lokhe nu imumera kana mun you have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it asil matu she'll see you at the village square beri antoro she says that's good with a passion for learning you will never cease to grow here's another familiar face with lots on his mind asks how you're feeling today his only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thing magic he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. Why why not dark? He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. Crap, he was rude. Not at me that time. You're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use that weapon of yours. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Antoro. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square, right? To her move to. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. Type an anna no ma. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Apli tonu muta. Ken seed That's all she's ever asked of you that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. Kototoku, yo yo no masu mandoru. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Tetsen tada, 
Andro? Where? Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. It's time to focus on your training now. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He'll leave the quick part to you. You're the martial artist, after all. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He said The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He knows you should take it with you, wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Andro? Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. 
But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Lupin Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must... There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present.
must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory.